All right, so I'm just going to do a couple of examples of uh, factoring by grouping. It's a little bit of background noise, but I think that I can probably dominate the, the volume. So let's say I have something like x squared uh, plus 2x plus 3x plus 6. And I want to factor this by grouping. So what I do first is I just group the first two terms and the second two terms. And then I factor out what I can. And what I notice is this has an x squared in it, but it also has a, uh, an x in it, this, this first piece right here, an x squared and an x in it. So since they both have at least one x, I'm going to factor out an x. I notice that leaves me this, x times x plus 2. And then looking at the second set, 3 and 6, and th this has an x, but this doesn't have an x. So I can't take an x out of this. But they do both have a 3 in them. So I could take out a 3, x plus 2. Like think about factoring that back in, 3x plus 6 matches that exactly. So now here's where this works. They both have an x plus 2 in them. So I can factor out an x plus 2. I'm left with x plus 2 times x plus 3, and that's factored. That's an example of factoring by grouping. Here's another one. If I have like 2x squared minus 8x plus 5x minus 20, say. Four terms, if I have four terms, a really good candidate for factor by grouping. So one group, another group. And as I look at this first group, I notice they both have a 2. A 2 goes into both of them. But there's also an x in each of them. There's an x here and an x there. So I can take out a 2x. If I do that, that first term just leaves me just an x. That second term minus a negative 4. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8. Yep. Look at the next two terms. Uh, this has an x, but this doesn't, so I can't take an x out. But they both have a 5. So 5, and again I get x minus 4. And this, when, it, when factored by grouping works, this will always be the same as that. Because now what you're doing is you're factoring out that x plus 4. So if I take out an x, I'm sorry, x minus 4. So if I take out an x minus 4, what's left is 2x plus 5, and that is factored completely. Uh, let me do another one. x squared minus 3x minus 7x plus 21. Sorry. Now this one's a little bit different. I still have the group of 2, group of 2. But notice that here, this is minus. So in the back, I'm going to be factoring out a negative sign. So let me go ahead and look at these these first two. They both have an x in them, so I can factor out an x, giving me an x minus 3. And now, since this is a negative, I'm going to factor out a negative and whatever they have in common. And these both have a 7, so I can factor out a negative 7. And notice if I do that, that'll switch the signs of these. So this leaves me just an x, and this leaves me a negative 3. See, negative 7 times negative 3. It's positive 21. So for my factor by grouping from here, if those are the same. I can factor those out x minus 3 times x minus 7.